Today, something miraculous has happened. Well, maybe not miraculous, but definitely something that I had not expected. My cobalt blue tarantula showed itself. And to be honest, I thought he was long dead. I've had him for about seven months, and even referring to him as a pet hole is a big understatement. Like most of my tarantulas, I got him as a very tiny sling, and after several weeks to a month, he was transferred from his small original habitat into a larger one, and I haven't seen him since. Nor have I really seen any evidence that he was still alive. Oh, I'd keep feeding him, putting crickets in there, and I would see the carcasses of the crickets dead, but not really eaten. So for the last six months, he has been invisible, he's been gone, he's been... Well, I mean, he's been there, right? At first, I wasn't overly concerned, because we had the same problem with our Singapore blue tarantula. It was a couple months before we saw him after his habitat transfer, and although he is not as big as our Goody Blue... In recent weeks, he has been coming out. We have been able to film him. We've seen him. We've fed him. We've seen him eat. We've seen him drink water out of his water dish. And more importantly, we've seen several molts from him. Even back when we couldn't see that Singapore blue, we still would find an occasional molt. So we knew he was there and we knew he was growing. The cobalt blue, I have found zero molts, zero evidence he was still alive. In fact, I started storing a three-inch long praying mantis in his habitat, you know, as a temporary measure, because I figure he's not alive anymore. We'll let the mantis get in there before we put the mantis into a better habitat. And in fact, we almost lost our $50 tarantula to that praying mantis, who was free, because praying mantises are everywhere around here. The size of this cobalt blue could easily have been taken down and eaten by that mantis. Crisis averted. Well, sort of. This tarantula is small. He is way small. He seems to only be slightly bigger than he was when we got him as a sling six and a half, seven months ago. It's really hard to discern his actual size, but he's probably molted at least once. Maybe he's not eating enough? I don't know what the deal is. It's more than that he's the runt of the litter. He just isn't growing. Temperatures are right. Humidity is right. And I had such high hopes for this tarantula. And now that I have evidence that he is still alive, maybe I still do have a little hope that he will grow and mature to be a big cobalt blue tarantula? Yeah, maybe. Well, that's the update for now. If I have any new information on his situation, I will let you know. Leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching.